Got it. You gotta have like a good name. Gotcha. Hold on. I don't know. I think this is what people are. I think this is what yeah. they mean. Happiness won't come my way. No. There you have it. You know, welcome to Nine Wings. I'm Big Bougie. That is really B B one. The one and only. Oh, I put really up two. <laughs> I, put, I put up two instead of one. Ah. How yeah. you doing, John, baby? Everybody in the world right now, and huh. then it's talking about Dave Chappelle. Black oh, people man. want him canceled. White people no. want him canceled. No. Trans want him canceled. Gays want no. him canceled. No. Um, probably racists want him canceled. Um, mm. Pastors want him canceled. Um, we have to cancel that Dave Chappelle there. So, you saw the special. What did you think? Um, I thought it was great. I thought yeah. he told a lot of truth. True. I thought he, I thought he, I thought he was, uh, you know, I think he was, he was just being very honest, um, about his feelings, and he's been leading you up in stages of all his uh, Netflix stand-up to get okay. here to get to this point, right? Yeah, so it's like he's telling the story. So if you missed one. You missing a part of the story. Are you okay. yawning, sir? Huh? No. Are you yawning? I've, you know, I've been, I've been upset. No. 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 No, no I don't yawn. Uh, no. I'm, just, I'm just saying, you know, I don't, very, you know, very, very rarely catch you. Catch you, know, you I yawning. Just, I, just you know? <laughs> I just finished a couple hour session, you know. You know, I don't work until the sun comes down on Sunday. So, you know, I get it in once the sun comes down, so. Shout out to uh, Static and Quan for coming through once the sun came down. Ah. Once the sun come down, I'm like, Evelyn King. Love come down. Boom, 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 boom. But back to... Yo, that's, that, that song. That is a You messed song. me up with that song. You messed me up with that song. Yeah, I would yeah. never listen to that song the same. I would never... All right. Anybody who listens to that song... Pay attention to the words. Oh, yeah. I mean, wow. Wow. That's a pill for y'all to swallow. Yes. So. Oh, my God. Speaking of love come down, it seems like 
the hate is coming down and beating on Dave for right. Dave speaking the truth about situations that um, I would say we we kind of overlook um, in in my own personal I would say place I would say we overlook that situation um, <laughs> because at the end of the day. He made a joke about pastors. Okay? Now, okay. I, I, I I want you to follow the, the joke process that he did, which was great. So he basically said he was molested by a pastor. Mm-hmm. The pastor made him jizz on his face. Right. Sorry, sorry ladies and gentlemen. I should have pre-warned you. This is not a sh- show to sit with your kids with. Um. But you're going to have to have this conversation with your kids anyway. So maybe it is. Mm -hmm. So that's why I use the word jizz. So he said, and I liked it. And basically he's saying, I wasn't molested as the man touched me. The man made me do something that made me do something on top of him. (sighs) Which is a slippery slope. Which gets into the question, does something like that turn you gay or turn you into having trans feelings or feelings for the other sex by being mm. you see what I'm saying? you see how deep the joke really started in the beginning that people didn't right. get so now people are like oh we're going to cancel him the name of the show was the closer he says right he came out and closed like i'm closing all these topics like you can't cancel me he walked away for 50 million how you cancel right. somebody? It's not like he's right. going, oh, they're going to count me. I'm going to lose $50 million. Like, right. No, he doesn't care. Stays on a farm. He says he's like dirty feet. White people. Like white women with dirty feet. That's what he said. <laughs> that, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> he's in the hippies. He's in hippie town. Hey, I mean, if y'all got a problem with um, white people with dirty feet, if you're living in a small town and you guys are uh, farming or do what the hippie thing do, uh, they don't really wear shoes like that. Um, unless they're out here on pavement and it's like 90 degrees or some shit. Like, um, hippies are free. They're about that. They're about that life. Oh, they so like it. to embrace the ambiance of everything around me, dude. Oh, yeah. You feel that? Yeah. You know, so <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, well, that's what you to pitch on TV. How about that? Okay. So we, we, <laughs> we, we know from over the last couple months that white people do shower and bathe differently than us. Um, so it gets into He's, the funny yeah, funny thing that funny. he make he makes a joke about the dirty feet white women. So I had to look at culture about all the stuff about white people showering and and was like how's he come then when he breaks it down about Yeah, the lady tried to say that I beat her up for being a lesbian, but I didn't know she was a lesbian. That was hilarious. Like, you're <laughs> such a lesbian until he figures that you're a dude. So, and and personally, I've had a couple lesbians in clubs step to me like that. Like, literally that whole situation. Oh, my God, you're big bougie. Oh, I love this. Yo, what's going on? That's my woman. Bruh. Oh. Word. Uh, Word? Me and you got about the same size chest. Huh. Interesting. Mm. And then I have to let her know, unlike Dave, Dave said, hey, I'm a, he whispered like I'm a pimp slappy. I just told the girl, like, look, you want to act like a man, you hit me like a man, you don't knock me out, I'm going to pretend you're a man. Pretend you're a man. I'm not. I'm not. these handcakes. 
I believe Pancakes. in equal equal opportunity. <laughs> oh, that's what the employer said. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to mess with your woman. I'm, I don't want your no. woman. Like, I have my own woman. Like, why do I want your woman? And clearly, if she's with you, she doesn't want a man. She just likes Correct. the music, the community. She likes the comedy. She likes the actor, but she doesn't like the man. She's but you not... know what I don't understand. You no, know I don't oh, understand. Oh, 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 stop, stop. Just think about this. But if the other mate of the female is always, if she's always trying to fight a man, does that mean that that other female maybe sometimes switch hits and goes and picks up the bat and ball? Strike one. <laughs> Made it a home run here. <laughs> you know, I'm on first base with it now because there's no reason. The for, like, I'm not like if. Okay, let's be real. Brian okay. McKnight walks in, and my girl goes to Brian McKnight. I'm not gonna run up on Brian McKnight like, yo, bro, what you doing, my girl? I'm gonna sit back and be happy because I know. Brian McKnight's not going to take my woman home, but she's going to be happy because she was around Brian McKnight, and I'm right. going to have some fun. Yeah. Fun, but, right, correct, right. yeah. But, right, right, right. Now you ruin, like, you ruin the mood, baby. Like, baby, like, let her get turned on by me. I don't want her, and she don't want me. Then take her home and get that rubber thing out and go to work. That's all I'm saying. But they made a good point. The second point he made that a lot of white and trans people got is the identification. Meaning you identify as gay or trans until you get in a situation that right. you need to be white. Then you pull out your white privilege right. cord and slide it on us. Right. Because um because if you're gay and black, you already have you already have issues because you're you're a black person. And then on top of that, then you want to be gay. So now you're black and gay. So now you got like a double negative. You started out from the womb with a negative, negative, a negative line already. Now you add another line to it. So if if you and the white gay gets in trouble, guess who's getting out first? No. You might not even make it to go in. They might shoot you because you're Clifford, the big red, white, black nigger. <laughs> Oops, did I say that out loud? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> you're say it, Clifford. Like, uh, right, but it's... um. <sighs> All right. Let's put it like this. And I have I have family member that's gay. Okay. okay. I don't, Everyone it does. You know, I, it don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. He like what he like. He do what he do. That's fine. You know. But my issue would be is, you know, your safety. Okay. Because safety. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's safety. I mean, think about it. Like y'all, y'all do. Y'all have people that hate. You know, but it's more, think about it. You black and people hate you already. And then you're gay. So that's a double hate. You get what I'm saying? So you got the double hate because now you're not the act, you're not, you're not, you're not the normal, you're not a heterosexual, you're gay. Right? So now, not only you have, you, it's like they have to be more than. I was about to use the Transformers thing, more to BCI. But they have to be more to, you know, try to give off that aura of, yo, you going you gonna to accept me as I am, but whether you the, like it or not. But, but here's the thing, right? I had a friend who, um, he was gay. And I didn't know he was gay, right? Childhood friend grew up, went to college, switched up, however. But 
I never saw him as a gay person. I saw him as a friend, right? A person, and even when he passed on and all that, and everybody was talking all this bull, still at the end of the day, that's the dude I rode trikes with. That's the dude I learned how to play piano with. That's the same dude who ain't never came to me with no type of situation like that. Like, not even right. nothing like that. So, in my mind, right, I'm going to ask myself, like, I only know, well, not even asking myself. I ha- I know him only as a human being, right? I only know him as that person. Like, right. his personal life is his personal life. And that's what I think a lot of people do. They push their personal life on you. Meaning, if you're gay, that's good. If you're straight, that's good. If you're bisexual, that's good. All of that, only thing that I care about on that matter is if you're an adult. If you're an adult, make your own decisions, all right? When you start playing with those pronouns and shit with kids, it kind of screws them up. Because they're already trying to emotionally grow. They Like, if they're going to do it, they're going to do it when they get older. And, and I think that also is a little bit that he touched on, too. Because you got to think, it has to cause some kind of mental illness to a person to have to identify, not identify, try to fit in while being odd out, trying to find love in a world full of hate for regular shit. Not no extra shit. I'm just saying regular shit that people hate just regular shit. So, and then we as people, we try to be gods. We try to judge people. That's not what we're supposed to do anyway. It's not our job. That's not our job. No. So when he gets into the joke about the the trend trying to fight him or or the the gay woman trying to fight him he really wasn't trying to fight her and a lot of times I mean, like, like 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 you said a lot of times people try it's just like the thug but that's is, the question i always try to figure this out right because i had a situation when i was in high school where, where this kid was gay and i knew his sister um i liked this sister um but this dude, for some reason, just wanted to fucking fight. Like, you just want to fight. Like, I'm not trying to fight you. Yeah. I really, you know, like, I ain't starting nothing with you to fight you. You just come in here wide open, like, like he ready for you know, game. you know what I'm saying? Like, and in that situation with Dave, it's like, yo, if I'm trying to de-escalate the situation, why mm-hmm. is he still trying to keep going? Like, what what is going on mentally that makes you be it's like you got rabies or something yeah it's it's trying to make you feel right it's trying to make you feel like okay you got a small dog and your neighbor has a great day the great dane doesn't really bark that much Your little rat terrier. When he sees a great dog, he goes in overdrive. The great thing goes. Really? You hear it again. In the third. (laughs) <laughs> like <sit your> ass. <laughs> now if you know the story about the dogs and you've seen a dog when he makes that loud bark the small dog turns around and usually runs away and looks for his master you know why because he wasn't really prepared to be a, in the pen with the big dogs so now he wants to make himself appear to be a big dog so he barks a lot 
I'm not saying, please do not take this the wrong way. I'm not saying that trans people are loud because of that. What I'm saying is it's the same condition. You're trying to force people to see you for what you want to be seen as. So this little bitty dog wants to be seen just as big as that Great Dane, but not right. knowing that his voice isn't going to get that roof. It's going to be, he doesn't understand right. that. So instead of him going one, and leaving it alone, he's like, I got to do a lot of these, and make him feel like I'm a dog. Which I am right. a dog, but I'm not a dog like him. And that's right. where we get into it. Like at the end of the joke, he said, basically, women look at trans women like black people look at black face. Woo. Like, I felt wow. the knife with the butter when he said that. Wow. Like, yeah. Like the yeah. analogy. Like the analogy. Like you. And then when you think about it, right? Gay people can get away with a lot of things. Damn right they can. Like that chick overseas who was hacking the people up at the gas station. She was hacking them with the with the axe. Whack, whack, whack. And then you come, oh, it was the medication. Oh, influxing my emotions. Da 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 da. And you get what? A little slap on the wrist, maybe go to the psych ward a little bit, and you back out. Hey, I mean, why not? Think about it. Why not? Why not? Go a little psycho. And you know, and and and, and it's the, the crazy thing about it too is when he was when he was touching on that subject. What's that chick that made the book Harry Potter? Oh yeah, uh Rollins. Yeah, so when they when, when when women look at trans women like that, it's it's this is fact. You you can't give birth. You wasn't born to give birth. You know, um, that's just like that's just the realization of it. And some people don't want to ex accept that. Part. Just just in that circle, y'all don't want to accept that shit. Then y'all got. You know, y'all. Some of y'all taking, which will be a penis, and you're transforming it into a vagina. Okay, and then what? They give you this glamour story about, yeah, this is great, blah blah blah. But, excuse me, nobody talks about the other side of it mm. because that there, there's things where people will have to be on medication for the rest of their life. Right. Excuse me. Right. And some people do have problems functioning it functioning like a regular vagina. Be it's going to have a problem because it's not a regular vagina. It's just not it's just it's not Are what it sure, is. It's sir? not what it's meant to be. Are you sure it's not a regular one? Have you tried one so we can find out? See, see, see. see, 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 see. <laughs> All right, you like that one in there? Fuck, I left myself open for that shit. Damn, you did. <laughs> I saw the lane wide oh. open. I was dribbling. Oh, I was like, oh damn. man, you damn. sat right there. Oh, damn. Oh uh, no, I'm not. But from, from, <laughs> from what you do and study your research, sir. Uh, there are people that be complaining about that situation. Like, they wish that they never did it. I think that's why Bruce Jenner hasn't done it yet. You, you, I, I really believe this. I mean, I, I, I mean, dude. I mean, you, how, how do you, how do you, I think this way? dude, like, I think this dude might as well just say that he's like bisexual. He's not a transsexual. I, I, I don't even understand. I don't even understand how he gets uh, the Woman of the Year award. Well, I mean, he is a bisexual. No, he, he did buy his is, titties. He bought titties, but he ain't changed the ding dong. He hasn't bought. He hasn't bought the. He ain't cut the tree trunk. 
he ain't, he ain't cutting it yet. He ain't cutting it yet. I I believe this this bisexual. I'm calling him bisexual because I think he still like women too. Because you know what? In a weird, because Hollywood is weird and it, it kind of kinky, right? So I'm not in Hollywood. Just the things that we just find out about certain shit. I'm just saying, they into some shit. If 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 Cat Williams could walk into a spot and motherfuckers are like, uh, what are we gonna do for the movie? It's like, what? Even they should pass the same shit, right? That's what they do. There are some men that probably say, I love the feel of titties. They may so like gonna, that. So you're gonna buy your own so you can just rub yourself up? There are some men out there that probably just just, just like yo, I could just have fun with myself if there's nothing else out there for me, or whatever the case may be. Who knows? But the fact of the matter is, I think he goes both ways, and I think he and I think he enjoys it in both categories. Well, one day we're gonna have to be, get Bruce Jenner on the show and ask him. I mean, Caitlyn you Jenner. Could be, you could be wide open either way. Either way, it's a win-win for you. <clears throat> I mean, it makes sense. Maybe, maybe he wanted to keep a little bit of Bruce. Of course, because at the end of the day, he's still a man. And all a man See, has is his what? Him and Shim. All a man has is his what? <laughs> his word and his balls. Correct. So. So. I'm saying. He. So do you think born, people? You were now born? the only ones that could get the exception. The only ones that could get the exception is if you are born with, with the with, with both, or <clears throat> you are genetically a female, but you have a dick. That's it. I mean, you can. I mean, you were born this way. I mean, I, I don't even know what they call them. Hermaphrodites. They have their own cat, huh? Hermaphrodites. Yeah. yeah. Hermaphrodites. Yeah. No, but, but they have a pussy too. Oh, oh sorry. No, we, we don't have it yet. They have a vajaja. <laughs> <laughs> they have all the works. That's that's the best. Right. Okay. They have all the works. So you're <laughs> born that way. So, no, I can't fault you for that. I'm not even going. I'm not even faulting for the people who decided they want to do all this stuff. stuff. But y'all need to understand that when you start dib dabbling in chemical balancing of your body structure, it might not go the way that you think it will go. It can, it will, it could throw you off. It can drive you nuts. It can make you do a lot of things because it's not natural. You're not your natural state. If you want to be wide open, you want to wear women clothes, you want to do all that. Fine, do what you want to do. That's what they got push up bras for and all the other stuff. That's what you want to do. Move pull it out for like it. But when y'all start changing stuff, it might put y'all in a situation that y'all might not like. And nobody mm. want to talk about that. Nobody want to be real with that shit. You know what I mean? Everybody look at the glitz and the glam up front, but nobody wants to talk about the back end of it. Nobody want to talk about the surgery, the healing time. If you had to go back and do something over, oh, you got botched. Now you got to go get somebody to correct your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. If you people could jack up your lips, well, you think they ain't go, you think they don't, they can't jack up down there or up top? Come on, like y'all gotta be real with it. Y'all gotta be real on the real shit. Like, and then some people they want it so bad they skip on getting going cheap. That's yeah. not something you go cheap on. I'm sorry. Third world countries, you know, they go down to Mexico to Paco Paco and Paco Paco. He he gonna got he got this stuff in this this needle. He's gonna make your tail end wide. He's gonna make your 
front end disappear, and he's going to rearrange your chest. And when you come back, you're going to have lumps all over. Right. So, you know, when, when Dave is talking about the trans community, like, he said it. Like, if y'all listen to the whole thing, one of his best friends, well, I would consider, I would consider her his best friend. Especially after all the stuff that, you know, he did for them, her and family and stuff. And, and was true to the nature of how she felt. But the bigger part of that is when you listen to it, you understand that the young lady stood up for Dave. In the trans community, her people right. drug her to the point of which Dave didn't say but it was inferred that along with the stress, like you said, of whatever could be going on of being a trans person, that was maybe the straw that brought the camel's back. Camel's back. And she went on top of a building and she killed herself, which you have to think, you're in a lot of pain. That's sad. When That's you sad, that. man. And, um, and he made a so, joke out of it. And people felt that was off taste. But like he said, she was the type of person that would have liked it. So, it's not off taste because it's two friends. We don't really know if right. she liked it or not because she's dead. But she probably always wanted to be a part of one of J- Dave's jokes. Right. Oh, and for sure. think about it, too. Think about it, too. If he let her be on the stage for 45 minutes and stunk for 45 minutes, right? And then she sits in the crowd Somebody's talking about jokes, catch a joke, and then she hits him back with the joke. And everybody just loves it. And then from then she's just running. And then she go in the back with the with the with the, the icons of comedy. Legends. legends. And she's making them laugh. And she's on fire. <clears throat> and, and the type of jokes, the type of jokes that she was making, not only was she making fun of straight. But she's also making fun of her own people. So why y'all? I mean, like, I understand what he meant. Like, because I was growing up, like the gays or the ABC community, that's what I call it. They was hardcore. You know what I'm saying? You had Rosie O'Donnell, she was talking that shit too. Ellen, she be talking that shit too, until we got to this whole cancel culture. You know what I'm saying? Like. It was yeah, gay comedians cool. out there talking. They was getting on everything too. They wasn't taking it lightly, like and y'all was eating it up. Pause. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, I, I felt you needed to pause. Also, there. Right, thank you. And it's also like it was another thing, y'all. Y'all be acting like y'all not racist. Because y'all be racist too. Really? A For gay real? Racist? Get out of here. Yes, it's gay gay racist. I don't believe you. You're Look, trying to tell me that if you, if you're you're tra- supporting Trump? Think, think about this, man. Think about this. You want to cancel the baby, right? Because of shit that he said. But if somebody says something against you, oh no. What? I'm offended. Oh, oh, this is a hate crime. Oh, you need to be arrested. Oh, you're. I got to. I have to destroy your career. It, like it's over. Like there. Was, like there is no freedom of speech. There's no nothing. But here's the when funny thing. When it comes thing. to a straight person, Lil Nas X came out and said that he was trolling. He's not gay. And nobody said shit about it. You heard me? Nobody said shit. About it, I don't hear nothing. This should be an uproar. Y'all should be throwing over tables. Y'all should be throwing your hands up. All of that shit. Oh my god, uh, that should be doing all of that. Especially, and you know, it's crazy. Even the ones that be acting extra. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to say extra, but y'all just have more. Y'all, it's just more than women. Like y'all just be over there. But the fact of the matter is, I don't got none of that. None, I don't hear none of that. The news is quiet. 
the news is quiet. But they was talking about everything else. They talk about what he wearing the Grammys. They talk about his music video, how controversial it could be. And you know what the funny thing is? When he was gay and he said something about the people's children and shit, ain't nobody said nothing about that either. Don't gay people have children? Don't they adopt? Well, I mean... Wouldn't, shouldn't they be offended? I, this is what I don't understand. So it only works when y'all feel like it. Y'all feel like y'all want to say something. That that basically seems like the part the, the plan. Like, hey, we don't need to say anything because it's okay. He's gay. See, that's how it works. Yeah, they're sprinkling the rice in the damn pudding. Like, I don't understand this shit. Sorry. Rice pudding. All right, Chinese yeah. reference. We're gonna leave that one there. Um, I, I didn't think about that. I didn't even think about that. I was thinking about the Jello that you buy with the little rice things in. I. Ain't, you know, just a little sprinkle to it. Like there's no 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 pizzazz to it. Nobody's saying nothing. Oh, they're okay? saying a lot. Can... They're, they're what saying... are they saying? They saying silence because it ain't it ain't hit the let, news let, yet. But but that's that's what I'm saying. Silence speaks volumes. So them not saying nothing is saying a lot. Mm-hmm. That means it's okay or not. Like they probably are thrown for a loop. That would be like the black delegation getting Eminem. No, that would be like the whole why Michael Jackson finally comes in and goes, "I'm Chinese, ha ha." Like I'm not white or black. I'm Chinese, ha ha. Like <laughs> I mean, literally, like it's like playing the ultimate game like you have people who uh play this game oh i'm super this i'm super that okay and i get that but the same way you have to have if you want people to care about you right and the funniest thing is most I'm drinking you off. most christian most people that i know are gay or trans are very christian and jesus oriented and wow. Jesus said, see, 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 if you, see, if Jesus, Jesus said, love thy neighbor as you love thyself. Now, listen here, you don't got to love me like you love yourself. But you can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, give him the pill. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because you set it up. Go ahead. Love thyself as your neighbor. <laughs> and what you can do is just respect me as you would want me to respect you. Right, you know what I'm saying. I you don't gotta love me, like you don't gotta love me. Just respect me. I'm gonna respect you. You respect me. If everybody did that, it'd be a great world. Because the respect thing gets into the thing of, I wouldn't want that done to me, so I'm not gonna do it to him. Oh, I wouldn't want to be called out of my name. I'm not gonna call him out of his name. I've never called you a fool on your brand of food. So why would you call me a your jockey? I've never called you this word. So why would you call me that word? See how it works. But if we start the conversation off and you go there, mm-hmm. I'm not the one you want to go there with. My words are like a double-edged sword. It cuts going by. When I swing the sword back, then it might hit you the third time. Like later on, you'd be like, doggone it. Oh, no, he didn't say that to me. Yeah, I did. Um, Three hours later. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, For real. SpongeBob about this thing, man. it's, It's like the pastor at the time that went off on me and. Try to make me understand about that his mother had three of her toes cut off. I really can't understand that. If my mother's dead, like your mother went in the hospital and got three toes cut off. My mother never came out of the hospital alive. So the last place I seen my mom wasn't my mom with seven toes. That's going to get out of the hospital in a couple of days. She went to the morgue and then we buried her. So, 
I can't rationalize you as a Christian cursing at me, telling me about your mom losing three toes for having diabetes. But she should have kept her ass from eating all that damn pork. But that's not my business. She shouldn't have been at Krispy Kreme. That's not my business. She shouldn't have been eating, drinking that sweet dollar McDonald's iced tea. But that's not my business. My business is to put you here for, which you can't. It's not a legitimate reason for me to go to break my job because your mom lost three toes. And then when you say, can't you understand my mom lost three toes? Well, I really can't because I don't have a mom. You're looking for empathy. And I had empathy till you cursed me out. Once you curse me out, I don't have any more empathy. Now well, now, now you get this. I don't give a f about uh, your mom. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't I give a fuck about your. You mom. don't. It's, it's it's over. Like, I at, at one point I did feel bad that his mom's toes got off. But then when he asked me the next question, which goes back to the lining of the Dave Chappelle thing, he said, "What have you done for little kids in Africa?" I'm not from Africa, so no, I haven't done anything for little kids. Anything for that? But I have helped little kids that live around here. How about you? Have you done that? Why are you going all the way to Africa to help with kids when there's kids here in our states that need help? Needs help. Unless you're just mm. a child molester, something's not right with that. When I hear of these Christians, maybe they try to go back to their roots. They don't want to tell you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Somebody could. Somebody yeah. might be lying. Somebody uh, might be lying out there. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got I ain't, I ain't got that. I, I don't got no information. You ain't got no. Nobody got information on why y'all so asphyxiated. I'm going back to Africa. I don't even understand that shit. I don't know. Y'all motherfuckers, we want to go to Africa so bad. But here's the thing. They tell us to go to Africa all the time. But white people go on safari vacations to Africa. They go to right. South Africa. Oh, my God. We did a missionary ministry in Johannesburg. You should have seen all the little nappy-headed black kids. And they be going all the way up to North Africa, China. 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 <laughs> now, no, now, cousins. what? Hey, <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, 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 what if it was a Christian missionary mm. that went into China and brought the coronavirus back? Ooh. Hmm, we need a horn for that one, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. because if you think about it, right? Who gave the Indians measles? Mm. Oh, and, and um, where does sickle cell stem from? Ah, what sickle part of cell. region is that? What, 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 what kind? What, what, what space is that from? So you know, originated so, from. Mm. So sickle cell, as we get ready uh -huh. to close the show out. Yeah, like this, is, this is. I'm gonna put y'all up on something. Mm -hmm. Two things. Mm -hmm. I might even do <laughs> my man appeal while I'm giving this. Oh no! When you get down to genetics, right? You have taking this to a molecular level. Mm. Hey, brother, you, you, really, mm. you really don't have that many anomalies. Mm-hmm. So, the people who are Go ahead. the people who you think are white might not be fully white. They might just be albinos who over the course of genetics, not evolution, but genetics, right. body changed to where they were at. Now you have another group of people. He's talking about transformation. Who evolve? 
mm-hmm. might have been in one place that you would have never thought of and got pushed to another place and then got moved around and put into slavery and then were sent here. But some of those people were never, ever, ever, ever in Africa. Mm. So that means that they took somebody from this atmosphere mm-hmm. and placed them in another atmosphere. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Preach on. Right, Come on. Right. So they, mm-hmm. they, they put them in different hemispheres and moved them around. And then finally, these moved people... them around like nomads. Go ahead. Yep. Moved them around like nomads. And then they got mm-hmm. on. They're sort of getting on. And when I mean on, I mean they're sort of ruling places and becoming kings and queens. And then mm-hmm. could it be barbarians, falsified? It, barbarians, mm-hmm. barbarians, the barbarians, go, the golden horde mm. came in and mm-hmm. sort of taken over. And as they took over, they pushed everybody to the west, mm. which is what well, we know as which, now. America. America. Because now, when you go overseas, they say, oh, yo, Western way. Go ahead, Bougie. Let them know. So your Caucasian probably made a South Westerly movement. Mm-hmm. Your Barbarian made a Westerly movement. And somewhere in the mm-hmm. two, they met and blended. Mm-hmm. And those Barbarians became your what you would know as white Caucasians. Mm. But because a, Caucasians are what well, we can say what? A race? Instead of a No, a, I wouldn't call them a race. I wouldn't call Oh. I, I, what would you call a Caucasian? It's a color structure. Caucasian is is that a Western color structure? No. Not now. Okay. No. Because when you get back to India and China, they were already running that caste system. It just evolved further. And then as world empires got bigger and taken over by other empires, they picked up on their traits and moved it over. But basically... You know what we should do? Take a trip to Europe, Africa, China. Mm. Mm -mm. I think we need to... I think I think we need to have a, a history. I think we need to have a, a separate uh, podcast about on history. history. Uh huh. But you know, uh, since you have vast knowledge and you've done a lot of work, you know, we gotta find a way to help you out in the residuals on the back end to giving out this education. Well, I put it like this: to get back to the blood disease, when you get into the other side of the world, Africa, Europe, and Asia. What you, what we know is sickle cell, what we know is sickle cell, listen to me closely, is really a hereditary trait of royal people. That's why you don't get too many white people that get sickle cell. Now you have to ask yourself, why do black people have European royal diseases that comes from European royal families? And over time, has sickle cell has changed into its own disease of its own, but it's a hemoglobin disease, blood dealing with your blood, your sickles, your cells. Man, these chicken wings just are falling everywhere, man. Jesus. Oh, my God. I got chicken bones all over the place, man. Look at all that, man. Uh, just don't oh. get no sauce on your shirt. You'll be okay. I'm trying not to, man, but jeez, you know. It's just, it's just it's, it's, it's raining right now. It's just raining knowledge of chicken wings, man. So, wings ain't so you, have, you have to ask yourself, mm. if sickle cells is related to the royal blood disease. Why don't white people in America have it? Mm. If sickle cell, now that 
tells you a lot. Now, this the end of the show to bring it all one circle. These are facts. Come on. Be the closer, brother. Be the closer. These are facts. And just like Dave all Chappelle right. says, he doesn't have a problem with trans people. He doesn't have a problem with gay people. He doesn't have a problem oh, yeah, with me either. But he has a problem. I have a problem when you lie to me, though. He I have a, a problem with that. Well, I mean, if you take a girl home and then you find out she has bats and balls, I'll be upset too. I hope you've never been in that situation. If you ever do, do not kill them. You will go to jail. Please, like, play cards or something. Watch games. I guess you wouldn't Netflix and chill at that moment. But you can figure out something to do and be and become a friend to that person instead of what your mind might tell you to do. And that's another fact. Be once you know a person, you don't look at the outward appearance. You know the inner person. So the inner person never really changes with most people. Wow, yeah. Wow, yeah. Yep. yep. So what he said was he has a problem against white people who use privilege to move forward in life, basically. So... <sighs> If you are privileged that much, why don't any of these privileged people have the royal blood disease? And why is it that it's mostly black people? And if it's a European blood disease and they tell you that all black people came from Africa. <laughs> even if we all did come from the motherland at one point where we came from at that moment in time was not the motherland if we have European blood diseases that isn't in China or in Africa but it's basically in Europe and America only in mostly 95% black people so now as I take my head back and really let you mm. see the wrinkle in my forehead as I think about this mm. I want y'all to think about this deeply. Does color really matter if you know the person? Does a person really matter being gay or straight if you know the person? Because knowing the person and loving the person is different than loving their flaws or their attributes. Mm. And that's why we should have made a left at Albuquerque. I always make a left at Albuquerque and go find the Ten Commandments. If you do that, life will be a lot easier and you won't be on the hairbrush schemes of Bugs Bunny as us black people have been for the last 400 years. And with that bombshell, <laughs> we, only, uh, we dropped the chicken wing on that one. <laughs> Man, I dropped a whole box of chicken. Look at it. It's all over the floor. <laughs> I dropped so oh many chicken God. wings. I felt bad. Man. Hold on. And, and as we go off, because this, you know, as we go off, who do you have for the fight? Who do you think? Fury? Fury? Or? Fury? Or? Wilder? Or. Wilder? I have to go wilder. Got some proof. Okay. Okay. And what about what you call it? Kane versus uh Big Daddy Kane versus uh KRS one. That's a sick. I'm a king. Look, by the time, by the time we by the uh, today what? By the time that happened, we be on the next episode. So nah. nah. Kane you wanna do it? Kane's gonna win. That's it. Why? <coughs> okay, well. <coughs> Hold on. You, you ain't choked me up when you said why. <laughs> I was actually like Michael Jackson, but it's okay. So we got to go. But yeah, I'm but just saying. I'm going to tell you why. In a simple reason. R-A-W. Raw. And, and I mean that as if they go to the garden and they have to perform. and came I come, I mean, I mean at Barclay. At Barclay. They go to Barkley, Kane performs, right? 
Kane performs at the Barclay. He brings out school and scrap. He has Mr. C to DJ for him. He might even bring a guest DJ up, and the guest DJ will drop off one record, and that's it. And the game is over. If Kane does a symphony, if he does a symphony, he brings out Shan, Molly, Cool G, Craig G, Master Ace, in Brooklyn. They're not doing it in the Bronx, bro. What if he brings out Nas? Who's gonna bring out Nas? Why would he? Why would Kane bring out Nas? I don't know. Just, I don't know. Why? He would bring out Jigga first. He brought out. He found Jigga. He could bring out Jigga. Jigga shows up at the verses. Who? Who's? Who's gonna top that? Who can KRS One bring out if Kane brings out Jigga and they do Hawaiian Sophie? Fuck the rest of it. Let's play. You want to play? Let's play. All right. And then, all right. It's, uh, well, it was great to uh, uh, be with you guys. Uh, leave <laughs> comments at the bottom. Uh, you know, how they say, click that subscribe button. It's the big bougie. <laughs> Hit us up on Facebook at Nine Weeks. And, uh, you know, we, when you, oh, we're going to talk to you guys down there at the bottom. But uh, this is nine weeks enough. I'm really be the one. This is Big Bougie, and I'm yeah. good. <laughs> he, he thought about that question once he got in there. He was like, "Oh, I, I, I really didn't." Oh, thou gone. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah. As we go out the show, you know what oh, I think? I think you need. I think you need. I think you might just need to hear this. As we go out, because I, I think you might have forgot. Right, that's why I'm getting the freak um and fig new because I need to figure this out right now. That's how I'm going to end the show. Don't try to step to Kane because he's not the one. Peace. Mm. See you next Monday at 10. Mm.